place of I'm doing and it's kind of weird. You know, again, like as long as you're not hurting anybody else and you love it, why not? Just do it. You know, just do it. Kind of thing. Fun is fun. It's all about fun. It's not fun, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do it. What are you trying to do now? Pick the helmet nose. <laughs> So what was your day like? My day? Yeah. <laughs> like any other day. Uh, it's like this. Kind of running around. Um, just gonna break this chat. Make sure you get all the fruit from the fruit flies there. <laughs> I'm very happy it's Friday. Just like to switch my hat and uh, do this instead. So. marketing with this one but we do it every uh, month so uh, people generally like know what we're all about what we're doing Yeah, I'd have to say I've definitely seen Teresa develop as an artist. Like, even though it's been like less than a year, like her figures have gotten superb. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I know she's produces just like a lot of work. Well. Teresa's artwork um, has been even like a huge inspiration on me and I love like being in the studio with her and painting with her because like she's given me ideas for, for techniques and stuff that I never would have used. When you're an artist, the, you know, the more you work, the more your, your stuff is, you know, it's going to evolve, it's going to get better, it's going to change. Um, it was definitely like, you know, as a kid, just, I just remember always wanting to like create things like, like imaginary friends or I had this thing in my head, like any character I would draw, it would come to life. So anything I would draw, I would like draw it with the intention of like a, either a companion or a friend or an adventurer. And then it just kind of evolved out of that, just passing time and, you know. I always kind of was quiet. My mom didn't think I was going to talk. She thought I was going to be a mute, you know, so I was just very introverted and it just like, you know, just being a kid, you know, so that got me into it and then, you know, it just evolved from there. A little bit about my background, uh, where I got educated with my art um, academically. I didn't start painting or drawing or doing anything art-wise until I got out of high school. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to do when I got out of high school, but I knew uh, one thing I absolutely loved was drawing. Um, so I figured if I'm going to invest in something, it might as well be something I enjoy, right? So I went to Manchester Community College and I got my associate's degree in visual fine arts and I met a lot of really interesting, amazing people in the art department out there. The, the professors and students that were uh, taking classes out there were very influential to like what I do today even. Um, the mentality that I have behind the paintings or um, things that I try to create um, I find are the majority of them tend to be narrative, um, whether it be sequential or you know a portrait of somebody that's expressionistic and it just seems like you know little accessories or accents like tell a story. For instance, the jar painting that I did over a year ago um, was sequential and was much more in, um, like academic and just kind of like 
um, again, research and experimentation for me to kind of re like ramp up what I used to do, you know, because I hadn't painted in a long time and I started painting jars and that's what kicked me back into gear. So, um, yeah, and it was kind of like you could see like a calendar, like, okay, like, you know, oh, that was going on that day. And then like, you know, I went more into an abstract realm and then I went back to photorealism. And so it kind of like quoted a bunch of stuff and then, you know, they all kind of melded together. Whereas um, I have a couple portrait paintings, you know, hanging that, uh, you know, are very quiet moments um, that I find are very uh, quiet, subtle, and I try to express like some sort of confidence or, you know, just like some sort of energy throughout them. I do. I like motorcycles. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Um, I think motorcycles and cars, um, but for me it's more motorcycles, are like a perfect hybrid of something that's aesthetic and, and functional. And um, I, uh, I, just, I just, there's so many like guts to them and um, it's very spiritual. Yeah, see that's, that's their call. <laughs> like, um, I remember one day my dad has ridden like since he was 20 so he had a motorcycle and I would always ride with him and one day he had, must have had an awesome day at work or something he was in a special mood and he threw me the keys he said you want to learn how to ride and of course I was like yes <laughs> yes I do <laughs> it was just it's freedom it's like flying you know and you know it's almost like a dance too you're going through turns and it's very physical and fluid it's very fluid for me so I love them What fascinates me about the pose of my subjects is, um, you know, I think obviously life in motion, always been a huge fan of, um, again, mentioning sequential art and animation, um, you know, comics and like, you know, cartoons and um, seeing something that is like a traditional medium like drawing come to life. So I, I mean, I can, I'll like draw very like stoic or static things, but for me personally, my own selfish, you know, venture is I love you know to show human figure and movement because it's constantly moving like even you're sitting still your pulse is still racing so the things that have influenced me the most in terms of being a creative person I or just being a person in general have most definitely been family and friends and uh, interactions. So I was really fortunate growing up. Uh, my uh, father, my mother constantly took me to like, you know, science museums and like my dad um, is an inventor by nature, you know. So I just remember always going into the garage and he'd be working like all hours of the night and I would see like these like machines or mechanisms he was building. And I obviously being, you know, young, I was like, I don't know what a fuel cell is, like, you know, but just seeing like these lights and these things that he would create and he was very quiet about it. He never really talked much about it, but I just, you know, always admired that. So like, you know, machines and inventions and just um, obviously creating something out of nothing, you know, was constantly going on in my, uh, in my childhood. Springs seeing like you know murals and art shows that were popping up around here and I got really excited like it really you know rejuvenated what like you know I, that love I had like years back like why did I do this kind of thing um, so I uh, started painting again and I got involved with um, a couple people locals from Stafford that really encouraged me like you know get into these druid shows like you know you should really push yourself so I did and next thing I know I placed second in Munson Art Annual's art show and I was like literally like brought to tears like I, I couldn't really believe that you know um, this is something that people like you know it was like a weird feeling for me so I just was still on that wave of adrenaline of like okay like what else can I do you know so I kept painting kept creating things and just posting them on Facebook just like all the time and you know to the point of I'm sure it annoys a couple people but 
I was like just throwing everything at the wall. I'm like, I want to see what sticks here, you know? And people started like, you know, speaking up and being like, I really like what you're doing. Like do more and like, what about this? You should try this. So it just kind of snowballed. I started meeting more artists, more creative people that felt the same way I did. And then we got the space here, Studio 4 on Main Street in Stafford. And we've just been doing shows on Arts on Main for over a year now. And it's just been amazing. Like we just like find ourselves like constantly like doing these really incredible events and meeting other incredible people. And it's rejuvenating. It's like the arts do exist. Like the community does need it. And we're a part of it. decided when like I felt absolutely comfortable saying I'm an artist I don't know the exact day but um, I know the situation before that has always been like oh so you're an artist like you know you're covered in paint all the time and you're <laughs> you look like you're constantly scatterbrained <laughs> um, I always felt embarrassed I always felt like it was like you know there's some sort of you know I don't know I just felt like it was taboo for some reason because it was just like an own, my own personal struggle. Like, not that I didn't enjoy what I did. It was just like, I, in my own brain, it didn't feel like the right thing. I wasn't doing the right thing. Like, I, I didn't have the 2.5 kids. I didn't have the white picket fence, you know? And, you know, you can't always define yourself by what's going on around you all the time. And I think that's unfortunately what I had been doing for years and years and years. And, um... So the day when I realized, like, you know, when all of this stuff was going on, I was like, you know what? I am an artist. Like, just, just let it in. It's fine. And I have never felt more myself. So. All right. Where would I like to see myself in 20 years? Painting. I know that's like a very like simplistic answer, but painting, I will be heartbroken if like I was able to see a prediction of my future in 20 years and I wasn't painting, that would break my heart. So I, I think that's good hope. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop. I hope I don't and if I do and I watch this video, <laughs> this is a warning <laughs> to myself. Pick up a brush. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I hope I'm painting. I hope I'm still, at least if I'm not doing that, something creative, networking, being involved in a creative community, um, you know, places like Stafford or other towns that are um, looking to really um, rejuvenate themselves culturally and creatively. Um, they need it, you know, and, you know, I think, you know, there's like a lot of dark places and like negative things that go on every day. And, um, you know, it's, it's our part to like, you know, make it interesting. Like, you know, we can change things. We can, you know, if you don't like what you're doing, you can change it, you know, with support and your own will, you can. Mm -hmm.